starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. this instant, you little imp. You told me not to let anyone in. I would have had you good for teasing. You told me, didn't you? I'll bring you in the groceries. I still don't know why. Never mind, clean up that mess. Why did I have to stay in the house? And why did the door have to be locked? Why do little boys have to ask so many questions? I finished my boat. I'm going to take it down to the lake. I'd rather you didn't, dear. Why not, Mom? I want to see how it sails. See, Dad? Golly, if I'm being punished for not opening the door right away, I don't think it's fair. You're not being punished, dear. I just... <laughs> Why don't you wake and sail your boat tomorrow? There ain't no wind today. Oh, Gramps, there's plenty of wind. Look out the window. You can see it in the trees. Jeff's right. As a matter of fact, it's too windy. What's this all about? First there's no wind, then there's too much. The door's locked, then it's open. You always want me to go out to play, and now I can't leave the house. Hello? Oh, yes, Jenny. Oh, that's fine. Yes, well, thanks for calling to tell me. Oh, it's wonderful news. Right, Jenny? Bye. What's wonderful news, Mom? Uh, I... <laughs> nothing important. Well, if it's not important, how can it be wonderful? Jeff, dear, why don't you take your boat and go down to the lake? Huh? huh? I said, why don't you go down to the lake? You've been wanting to sail your boat, haven't you? But just a minute ago, you... Yes. Run along, dear. I've got an awful lot to do, and you'll be underfoot. Oh, brother. Look, he thinks we're crazy, and I guess maybe he's right. That man was seen at Groveton, about 30 miles north of here. Well, then why didn't you tell the boy instead of making us look like a couple of prize fools? Oh, I see no use to frighten Jeff. You know how he is. He'd be having dreams about escaped convicts. Oh, women, women, women. Yeah. That's all right. Nice dog. What's his name? It's a she. Lassie. Hello, Lassie. Are we going to be friends? She's friends with everybody. I'm Jeff Miller. I live on the farm across the meadow. Glad to know you, Jeff. My name's Joe. If you're looking for work around here, it's kind of a bad time. I'm not looking for work. I'm just sort of passing through. You know, hiking, it's a real healthy thing to do. You gonna sail that boat? We just made it. Lassie and me were on our way down to the lake to try it out. I haven't sailed a boat since I was a kid. You wanna come along? Sure, thanks. Hope you sail good. I think I forgot the string. I can't sail it without a string. I might lose it. Yeah. What are you doing? Sending a note back to Lassie. Gramps will give her the string and she'll bring it back here. Do you spell string with an E? No, I. S T R I N G. Here, Lassie, <laughs> take it. Okay. Take it to Gramps, Lassie. Go on. my fishing pole. We could go fishing while we're waiting. Lots of bass in the lake. 
You want a bite? I'd better go home. <laughs> You're not going anyplace. It's too open here. Come on. Please, mister, I gotta get home. You don't know who I am, do you? No. Yeah, you'd find out quick enough if I let you go. Every cop in the state's looking for me. I won't tell anybody. Don't make me laugh. And keep still while I figure out what I'm going to do with you. Who lives on the farm with you? My mom and Gramps. Nobody else? Just a woman and an old man, huh? Gramps is old, but he's strong. Might be the place to hide out till the heat's off. Oh, you wouldn't like our farm. Honest, you wouldn't. And don't forget Lassie. If you tried anything... Me she... and the dog are friends. Oh, gosh, mister, there's lots better places to hide than the farm. Places where nobody would ever find you. For instance? There's a cave. It's my secret place. Nobody knows about it, not even Mom or Gramps. Where is it? It's not far from here. All right, I'll take a look. You lead. Go slow, go quiet, and don't get smart. I won't, I promise. place to hide. You'll like it once you get used to it. It's much better than the farm. Well, kid, I need food and I need clothes. I'll bring you everything you need. I'll sneak out and bring the stuff from the house. What good would it do you to come to the farm? Well, I could keep an eye on you. Be sure you wouldn't go sneaking off to the cops. I won't. I promise. Can I go now? When will you be back? After supper. Alone. Now I want pants and a shirt, a hat. Plenty to eat. I don't know if Graham's stuff will fit you. I'll make it fit. And you remember, keep your mouth shut or something bad will happen to your mother and your grandfather.
That's the wrong note. I thought you were going to bed. I decided to read a while. Where's Jeff? In his room. You tell him about the convict? What? The convict. Oh, no. No, no sense in telling him now. Things like that frighten children. Sunday clothes. That was work clothes. That'll do. Look, mister, I did what I promised. Now I gotta get home or Mama find out I snuck out. You keep your mouth shut like I told you to? I didn't tell anybody and I won't. You keep it up and everything will be fine. Nothing bad will happen to your mom or the old man. Can I go now? You'll be back tomorrow? Yes, sir. Okay, be it. Very chipper this morning. I'm all right. Half a ham, eggs, pudding. I'll go tell Gramps it's time for breakfast. Just a minute. Someone has taken practically all of the food in this house. Do you know anything about it? About what? About the food that's missing. No, I was awful hungry. Somebody stole my pants. Look, I want to know where my pants are, and I want to know right now. If you've used my pants for one of your concern games, I'll... I'll uh... I didn't. Then what in tarnation did you do with them? Jeff, after all, we do have a right to know what you did with all of that food and, and your grandfather's pants. I tell you if I could. Why don't you trust me? Well, you aren't showing much trust in us when you refuse to explain. I think you better go to your room and we'll talk about this later. Good morning, Ellen. Good morning, Mr. Miller. Good morning, Clay. I just stopped by to warn you about the convict. Curly Moffat was bullfrogging on the lake last night, and he thought he saw a man that answered his description. But Jenny called, and, and the radio said that he was seen around Groveton. It turned out to be someone else. Well, there's nothing to worry about, but chances are, if he is hiding around the lake, he'll want some food and some clothes. Well, what's the matter? There was a lot of food missing from my icebox this morning. Yeah, and a pair of pants. Let me call Gil. Hello, Jenny. It's Clay Horton. Ring Gil Post for me, will you? Gil, it's Clay. It looks like Curly was right. No, no, about Baker. Yeah. Well, I'm up at George Miller's. And we think that young Jeff knows where he's hiding. So get a couple of boys and head for the lake. Take the south road and I'll come around over the bridge. That's right. Clay, Jeff is not leaving this house until that man is caught. Well, either he's got to take us to him, Ellen, or tell us where he is. Look, if he won't tell Ellen or me, he won't tell anybody else. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. Let me talk to him.
No, Lassie, no, no time for playing now. We better go, I better get her in the barn. Lassie. You know how to keep your mouth shut, which is more than I can say for a lot of guys. You won't do anything to Mom and Gramps now, will you? Well, no. You kept your end of the bargain. I'll keep mine. You're all right, kid. We'll call it quits. I snuck out to tell you before the constable could ask me any questions. Constable? He came to the house this morning. Mom told him about the food and the clothes. Then I heard him call someone to come up to Shut up! Trigger happy. I got the kid. What do you want me or do you want him? You ain't gonna get us both. If you let me through, the kid will be all right. Don't be a fool, Baker. You're just making it worse. Look, I ain't got time to argue with you. Get your men out of the way if you want to see this kid again. Let him through. Don't try and stop. Jeff, what? I'm sorry about your clothes, Gramps. The only reason I gave them to him is so he wouldn't hurt 
that you were mom. Well, I was just about to warm the CVO britches. And I guess now I, I can't do it, can I? <laughs>